This is called Luxury Lounge Christmas Money with Conditions. For the past few years, I've been getting Christmas money from my friend's dad for Christmas. For background, I lived with their family for a few years growing up, so I'm essentially one of their kids. The exact amount we, the kids, get varies depending on how well we did with his investments. And this is us getting our quote-unquote inheritance while he's alive so he can see how we enjoy his money. This is fraught with difficulties from minute one. The idea that you're not his kid, the idea that he's you're dealing with his investments. I don't I don't understand. This is like uh, this is like a weird version of like Scrooge. It's like yes. here's my here's my money, but I need to see what you're doing with it. That's really really weird. I mean, how well he did with his investments. So the you're cheering for the markets? Like I don't Anyways, he always has these insane conditions on how we can spend the money. See attached. Basically, we have to tell him how we are spending it. It has to be for quote unquote memory or something we want, and it can't be used to pay off bills or debt. We also have to send him a list of short and long term financial goals. Is it even a gift if I can't use the money how I want? I'm 34 single and just moved back home after living on Maui for the past five years. Tough life, I know. I'd rather save the money to put towards buying a home than use the money to go on a trip for a trip or a shopping spree. I know I should be grateful since I'm not even technically family, but this has always rubbed me the wrong way. Thank you for giving us a safe space. So let's read. I mean, this is crazy. I'm going to read. Okay. This is the letter from Scrooge McDuck. You ready? Yeah. Dear blank. This year was look this year was looking fabulous for me financially until the first week of November. In that short time, my portfolio has suffered deplorable fallout. I mean, right off the bat, this is insanity. This is it's an insane, insane it's letter. Insane. <laughs> this, is this is the like, definition. Honestly, this is- this is nuts. This is like, this is not appropriate for anyone in life. <laughs> it's Give the money or don't. I do understand. This is the definition of no free lunch. I cannot in good faith take any funds out of the account at this time unless it's a basic need. Fear not. For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. And then he gives a Bible verse. Yes, the Savior is born. But for your immediate benefit, I will also continue to honor my gift to you as I have in the past. See, this is annoying because, hey, I'm going through a tough time with my portfolio, but I'll still give you your gift. But it's almost this whole thing is a warning. It's like he's yeah, he's making an example out of himself. But like, that's on you, man. Like, I don't know. Why is this Nicole? Oh, sorry. Why is this blanks problem? Don't give the gift if it, you know. I, I mean, it is absolutely crazy to go. Times are tough, but don't worry. You're still getting your gift. And then he, he writes, "May my ask is that you please share with me your gift or gifts that you will get with the money. My expectation is that 75 to 80% of this goes towards a memory that you can have for long after I'm gone. Can she backtrack it? She said she spent time on Maui. Be like, my memory is Maui. And now I'm saving the money I couldn't save in Maui. That's what I would do. It's pretty weird. He also says, D- please do not pay off debt, bills, or the like. I mean, why not? That's a great use of money. And like, that's a memory, a happy memory of paying off your debt. Like, that's fucking crazy. This is very much, and I, I'm not someone who really likes this term, but like, this is such a boomer thing. Like, I, he comes from a time that's like, Got the mortgage set up, got your savings set up. Like it, it's yeah. a different type of money situation. And that and people from that time would be like, Well, why don't you do it? It's like things are different now, buddy. I know. Like, it's it's really nuts. And also like, I don't know, what memory is better than like, wow, my my father or my surrogate father helped me to financial freedom because I was able to pay off my debt. I mean, that's just like fucking nuts. He writes, get a new bed. I mean, he gives suggestions. Get a new bed, take a trip, do something with your child, significant other, et cetera. Something you can thank me for. Uh, Right? I can thank you for the house. Yeah, it's like like a weird shaming of like where you are in life too. Like, oh, this money's not for debts. It's for like frivolity. It's like, fuck you. I I need to use it for, for my debt. This also has very much the vibes of a billionaire coming up to you in a bar going, I want you to fuck my wife, but you're gonna do it with these uh, with things. me watching <laughs> yeah right <laughs> however jared he says i am all caps not rich 
but hopefully you've seen what investing has done for my financial position. I mean, that's yep. crazy. But hold on. If uh, investing has done this for you, I want to do that for me too. Yeah. I like, want to invest. I'll thank you for the stocks that I got. You know, like he writes, I will withhold $600 from you this year. The purpose is to try and help you invest. So I guess he's, but I don't want you investing my money. I want, I want to, you know, like it's almost like you you can't be the puppeteer once a month for the first six months of 2022. I will match a hundred dollars. You invest. So he's trying to get them to save, but it's almost like, listen, man, I want to do this on my own. What if they brought him what they did and there was no parameters but I just want to see what you did like that the only way this is okay if he was like listen do whatever you want I just want to know what you did that makes me happy that would be yeah. okay to me I I also just think if he was like let me help you invest like this year instead of spending money let's all like get into the investments together let's take advantage of this weird moment and like see what we can find it's really really weird he writes, I'm not rich, but hopefully you've seen what investing has done for my financial position. I'm a little frustrated how this year is ending, but if I look at 2021 as a whole, I have had some major financial accomplishments to celebrate. My third ask is that you respond to me with your short and long-term financial goals in writing. Short-term in 2022, long-term is the next five years. If you don't have any, this is a great opportunity to get some. Remember, smart goals, please. I mean, that is judging. This itself. is awful. This is all fucking awful. I feel Here, for this person deeply. Hold on. There's a there's a whole spiritual element. Please take a moment to thank God on my behalf that I can even give you money as a gift. I mean, praying to God to God for the the Nasdaq to do well is <laughs> just it all is fraught with I don't know. Also, please take a moment and reflect on what the birth of Jesus means to you. I I mean, I have a feeling there's um not a uh, religious or spiritual simpatico between the gift receiver and the gift giver. And it doesn't I wondered, feel that way. I wonder if that's also like affecting this. Yeah. I mean, listen, I understand you could have a relationship with God, but this feels very much, you know, this is the, someone imprinting his relationship with money and God on someone else instead on of someone actually else. giving a gift being like, but they're paying to yeah. imprint it on you. Yeah. It's and fucked up. I, it's fucked up. It's interesting. It's wild. I mean, this is like, I got to say, this is the best luxury lounge email that we've ever gotten just because it is it's so wild. It's interesting. Like, it's, there's so many things at play. Also to think that God cares about your financial investments while also <laughs> caring about the birth of Jesus is really weird. Don't forget to like the video you just watched. I have many more. Subscribe to the channel right now. Like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like and subscribe, you fool. There's even a bell you can click to. Now you've got your week set Monday through Friday. I'm here for you.